Hello and welcome to the final episode of Let's Play Dynamite Heady. This is my second attempt recording it because I've pretty much got a game over on the final boss. Yay. So right now my mood isn't the best. Just, uh, he's really tough. I used to be good at this game. I used to be good. Isn't that something? I used to be good. You get your candy ass back on that platform. It already cost me a life the first time I did this. Alrighty, the gimmick to this, if you couldn't have tell, we're all constantly on a moving, rising platform. Ouch, that bullet doesn't hurt much. Thank God it doesn't. But there's a chance it'll lock you into one of these spiked platforms or something to get you killed. That's really what it wants to do. It's meant to do as little damage as possible. Anyways, this p stage isn't particularly that hard, and for good reason, because the final boss is, like, nearly impossible. That's why. Anyways, grab the hammerhead, because it's the safer and easier option. I don't know why it wasn't going up. I was hitting it. Thank God we have all these tries. Now let's -a go. Anyways, we get to do all this all over again. When I was doing such a good job, too, but nope. I died. I am just awful at what I do. And I knew this was gonna happen when I let's played this. It took me save state abuse to beat the final boss. No, this is not an emulator. Well, it's a, an official emulator created by Sega. How I've been playing this, don't you know? Anyways, you guys know the drill by now. Ride the platforms. Dun 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 they're just a number going up. But we'll grab it because we can, that's why. Yes, this sucks. It does suck, doesn't it, Hetty? I think I had such good dreams, too. It's just the Let's Player's curse. It's what happens when you play a game and record. It all goes to hell. Alrighty, now we're at the end of this godforsaken ride of heck. Alrighty, we can't go right and we can't go left, so what now? Oh no! There's nowhere to run and now it's gonna shoot us. Is this the end of Hetty? And it was a dud. And now the machine is freaking out. It blew a fuse. It's releasing the mysterious blue smoke. If you've seen Mythbusters, you know exactly what the mysterious blue smoke does. It means electronics don't work anymore. And welcome to Far Trek or the Heady Hump. You want to know why it's called the Heady Hump? Oh, yes. Heady likes that. He likes your humping. He likes your tunnels. I don't know if that made any sense. Get off! Before Hetty cries. Cry little wooden tears. Because he's just tired of this crap. He does. He's tired of this. He does all this work. And he gets jack all shit for it. Thank you. For just showing how much this level sucks. Ah, oh, yeah, lasers to the face. Those are always a good time. Get the flying hells off of Hetty. He does not like you fucking him. Seriously, if anyone else doesn't see that, I'm gonna be disappointed. Oh, yeah, give it to Hetty. Give it to Hetty. Okay, now that they've had their fun, that's a stress relief. Get off Hetty. 
Everyone do the heady hump. And we're almost at the end of this godforsaken trek. Alright, we're at the end of this trek. Too bad, like, tumor hits will kill us. Wanna bet we'll die? Come on, please keep shooting right. Please keep shooting right. Don't stop, don't stop. We did it! We did it! And with no health left. Anyways, welcome to the final analysis. The Dark Demon. I'm just gonna kill myself. We have no health. There's no way in hell I can survive this. Unless you are a master at telling what this guy can do. I'm sorry, Hedy, but the first round isn't gonna count. There's no way I can do it with that low health. I need full health. Anyways, as you notice, he kidnapped Heather, so we have to take this bastard out. Final boss time, guys. Alright, get this head. Because I knew he'd shoot out little jerks. Anyways, this guy doesn't have the most health in the world, but his attacks really hurt, and it's hard to tell what he's going to do. Alright, if you see a tiny head with usually some crummy heads like that, it's usually a safe bet you should grab it. And I'm glad I did. Alright, it's roulette time. What head will we get this time? Probably best to stick with the tiny head. And I'm glad I did. Or I would have gotten my hit by the death beam. That thing really hurts. Alright, let's see what we got this time. Most likely best to stick with the tiny head. Yes! Things are going my way. I can't believe it. Why is worth the dark demon when you beat his minions? I cannot believe it. I'll find some way to screw it up. Oh wait, we might actually want to go for another head, but I'm not risking it. Just hang back here. Alright, we may have got hit, but it wasn't that much damage. Not all of his attacks really hurt. Alright, let's actually get this head. Because they'll summon minions now. I'll just die. Alright, let's blow the head off, because if we don't, we'll miss whatever head he's going to give us. Alright, let's go for that tiny head. Yeah, I knew it. You don't have to have the tiny head for this, but the tiny head makes it easier to survive. See, the other spot you could stand in normally, but I wasn't going to risk it. It's not worth the risk, baby. Alrighty, let's stick with the tiny head. I have a feeling we should. Oh my god, I'm actually going to win? I was getting so frustrated and stressed, too, on the first place, so I'm already deleted. Oh, shit. That's not fun. I did not mean to grab that head. Uh, we're doing good so far, though. We're winning, at least. That's for sure. Yeah, we hit him, and we're about equal on health. But we got the hammerhead, which is really nice, because now we can do a lot of damage. Take it, you son of a bitch. Alright, he's about two, three more hits to, from death. We can win this, guys. We can do it. Alright, ditch the head. Alright, want to grab the hammerhead. He's going to shoot out minions, which this is the easy formation. Oh shit, we're gonna do it! Just one or two more hits! Die! Grab the super head here, and that's it! We're gonna win! We're gonna win the fight on the first attempt! Die! That's it! It's over! We won! And that boss can be an absolute just bad time that's it guys that's the end of let's play dynamite heady I cannot believe it we won show heady that love give him a hero's end anyways I want you guys to enjoy the ending bits it's long so 
Enjoy it. I'll meet you guys at the end of all these credits.
Alrighty, we're finally at the end of these credits, where it'll show us the stage and all the stuff I did, basically. What I found and what I didn't find. As I should give my thoughts on this game, it's a lot of fun. Besides the horrific time I had trying to beat the Dark Demon, you guys will get to see that in a bonus episode, but that won't be the... There'll be two bonus episodes I upload, which the next... The first bonus up, up, upload will be right after this one. Anyways, my thoughts. The music in this game is really good. I like it a lot. Old school games had a tendency of having really good tracks in them. And this one is definitely no exception. Treasure is known for making some good games like this and Gunstar Heroes. At least the only two I can recall. The game looks really good for Sega Genesis standards. It's just fantastic. I'm a sucker for, you know, retro stuff, but... Yeah, the game looks really good. It's hard, though. That's something else. It's a really hard game. Your first place, you're going to get destroyed, especially by the Dark Demon. You guys will get to see that fight where I got to screw up. Where I screwed up really bad, I just started losing my sanity, man. <sighs> but I'm finally glad it's over. This musical piece that accompanies the credits is just really good. It's called A Ballad for You. If you want to check it out, go ahead. I wouldn't highly recommend it. It's a good track. I did not know there were four secret bonus points in the last stage. I give props to anyone who can find those all. And if they do anything, that's pretty cool. If not, then I guess it's just bragging rights. Yeah, as you can see, there's 39, and I only found, like, 14. It's like, not even half of them. My final points were 334,000. Anyways, we got those passcode numbers. What? We never got to actually use them. So let's press start. Like it says. Actually, we got four of four secret digits. So where do we use those secret digits? Congratulations! Well, if you manage to beat the game and sit through this really long credit sequence, you'll be presented with the secret number inputter device. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here and start up another one. And we'll find out what this secret code does.